gorgeous day. The antlers burst apart. Hey everybody, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for an album review. The antlers burst apart. The antlers are a New York trio. From what I've read, this is their fourth album. And this LP comes off the heels of an album that was on a lot of year-end lists in 2009, Hospice. For many people, a modern classic, but uh, mm -mm, not for me. And I feel like I'm one of the few people who felt that way. And, and, and maybe that's because on that LP I felt like the Antlers were firing their sadness rays at me full blast and I was like pragmatist defense shields power on Bzzz. and there's nothing wrong with sad music depressing music I love getting choked up but the thing is I like it when it's a surprise music that manipulates emotions is kind of like product placement in movies if it's done subtly if it's done carefully it can be really effective seductive successful. But when you have a giant banner hanging over your music that says, this album brought to you by depression. No emotion gets rid of happiness faster than depression. I get really bored really quick. And I guess I admired some of the stuff that the Antlers were trying to do musically on that album, but uh, the lo-fi recording quality I felt hampered a lot of that potential, especially when the LP got loud. But that to me is kind of what makes Burst Apart the superior album. I'm really glad to hear these guys in a very great recording quality this time around. And also with a mix that really complements the vocal range that Peter Silberman has to offer, which might just be the most distinctive thing this band has going for it. And I also feel like I get a better sense of direction out of these songs too, even when they're meandering or doing their instrumental thing. And maybe it's because everything's clear, the guitars really resonate, you could pick out everything the lyrics are saying, the drums are just booming, they are heavy. But there's a little something missing that brought so many fans to the altar of antlers. And that's the storytelling. There's really no overarching theme here, it's just a group of ten tracks. And while there are stories, tales, told within some of these tracks, this thing is nowhere near as lyrical as hospice, and relies a lot more on hooks to get things across. There are also four tracks on here that are instrumental, or are so close they might as well be. And while this band can pull a good groove together, put together something delicate, something that's easy to get lost in. It's not really anything I'm looking forward to revisiting anytime soon. Overall, it's just kind of sounding like a straightforward, mellow, slow indie rock record, which makes it more accessible, but also kind of makes it a little less distinct. The opening I Don't Want Love, though, really does stick with me. I love the drums pumping on that track. I really dig the opening vocal too. I just kind of want to cry and make love to that song at the same time. Make love to somebody else to that song, not like make love to the song. That's can't do that. No Windows kind of caught my ear because it reminded me of Radiohead, but it also kind of reminded me that I'd rather be listening to Radiohead. Ah. Every Night My Teeth Are Falling Out is another spot where I catch a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a great hook, some memorable lyrics, but for a majority of these tracks I'm just kind of walking down underwhelmed road. This album closes with a set of chords that have been rocked by the best of them on the track Putting the Dog to Sleep, which kind of leads me to believe that maybe these guys aren't completely finished with trying to jam their hands into my chest and pull at my heartstrings. Still, the track is performed really well. I find a lot to love in Peter's voice on that track. And in a weird way, it kind of reminds me of George Michael's One More Try. And I do mean that comparison to be complimentary. It's not terrible, but I'm not really finding much I want to return to with this LP. I could see the appeal, but it's just really not for me. Uh, I'm feeling like a strong four to a light five on this LP. Really on the fence with it overall. But what do you think of this album? What is your opinion on it? What is your opinion on the Antlers last LP? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, The Antlers, forever.
I got a burn on my arm, it hurts. Right there, look at that bitch. Urgh.